Welcome to the well. What can I get you? Um, yeah, I, uh, I'd like a cup of coffee, please. Uh, are you sure you're in the right place? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you, you do serve coffee here, right? Uh, yeah, we serve plain old out of the pot fold juice. You look more like a low fat soy latte <laughs> kind of guy. I think maybe you want Starbucks down the corner. Okay, I, I, I can see how I might give off that vibe, but <laughs> honestly, I I'm, I'm just want a simple cup of coffee. Out of the pot Folgers will be just fine. Whatever. All right. Thanks. Not bad. You know, <clears throat> I've got this specialty blend that I'm sure you would love. I mean, I think it would really knock your socks off. A salesman, great, yeah, that's what I need today. <laughs> Look, buddy, uh, we're not interested in your fancy pants beans, so you may want to go ahead and pedal them down the road. Uh, wait, I'm, I, I think you're misunderstanding. I'm, I'm not trying to sell anything. It's just that what I have is better than anything you've ever had, and you know what? It's free. Free, <laughs> yeah. I've been around long enough to know that nothing is free, buddy. And like I said, we're not interested, so. Okay, wait. C can, we, can we just start over? I mean, honestly, I'm really not trying to sell you anything. <sighs> Whatever. Thanks. You see, <clears throat> um, this thing I have, this free thing I have, it could really change your life forever. Are you kidding me? I mean, seriously? Did you not hear what I said here? We are not interested. Do I need to call the cops? Yeah, I, I don't think you really want to do that. Oh, really? And why is that? Well, I think the last thing you want is for law enforcement to start looking around, you know, maybe under the counter, that brown paper bag that you've got stashed away under there. Okay, who are you and, and what do you want? It's okay, relax. I, I, I'm not here to harm you, Sam. And how is it you know my name? Oh, I know everything about you. I know your mother abandoned you uh, when she was an addict, the age of eight. I know that you bounced in and out of foster care until you finally aged out of the system. You've done everything you know to survive, Sam, selling every conceivable substance you can think of, including yourself. I know the only time you've been sure of a bed and three square meals is when you've been in court-appointed rehab, and your parole officer made it very clear that this job was your last chance to stay out of prison, but judging by what you have under the counter, I think you're just too self-destructive to care. Look, buddy, I don't know what your game is here, okay? But I've got people that I know, and so I think that you just better take it out, take it away. The world has taught you not to trust anyone, Sam, but I am not here to harm you. Look, you think you're so smart, but you don't know me. You might have gotten a few dirty little tips about my life, but that doesn't mean anything. You're right. You're absolutely right. Your past doesn't matter, and that's what I'm here to help you to understand. The bad choices your mother made, the anger that you have that won't let you get past it, even the decision you have to make right now about what's behind the counter, none of that matters. None of that can take away your immeasurable value and the unconditional love that God has for you. Oh, now I get it. Okay, you are some churchy do-gooder come to save my soul. Yeah, been there, done that, really not interested. The only thing you people have succeeded in doing is making me feel worse about myself than I already do. You're right. Sam, you're right. There are people out there who build walls to protect God and to keep out those that they think are undesirable. But, but Sam, the truth is that God doesn't build walls. He opens doors. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm pretty sure my door closed a long time ago. But you don't really believe that, do you? Why wouldn't I? Because deep down inside of you, there's just something gnawing at you. 
Something that's telling you that your past does not determine your future. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's called self-delusion. No, Sam, that's called hope. Hope. Sure. It's a place to start. Look, I, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do here. I really do, but I, there's probably other people you have to see and souls you need to save, you know? And I, my shift's over anyway. Yeah, I already knew that. <sighs> of course you did. And I know that you have to make a decision about what's behind the counter. Yeah, you're right. I do. For what it's worth, I have found that sometimes it's good to talk to somebody who's just completely objective. I mean, what do you have to lose? Well, certainly wouldn't say anything that would shock you, would I? Sam, I am not here to judge you. No, it's, it's crazy. But I believe you. Tell you what. I've got this cold cup of out of the pot Folgers that I'm dying to finish. <laughs> Why don't we just sit here and talk for a little bit until, you know, it's time for you to make that decision. Sure. Why not? But what was that you were talking about, your specialty blend? Oh, uh, okay. Now we're talking. <laughs>